hello you guys and welcome back to my channel and to all of my new subscribers welcome in this video i'm going to be giving you my take on comic book nails so if you would like to see how i've done these then stay tuned Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to jump right into this video because I don't want to make it extremely long. But the tips I'm working with today are long, tapered square. And I've already filed and buffed them. And right now I'm just going to apply my base coat so we can get on to this design. So the first color that I'm working with is from my D&D gel polish collection and it is this pretty blue color. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm thinking maybe it's my mint tint, I want to say. And I'm going to do two coats of this. I did really thin layers because I've noticed if I do really thin layers, my nail will be less bulky. And because I am putting a design on it, I don't want the nail to get too thick. So off camera, I got me a pencil and I kind of sketched out how I wanted my little thought bubble or whatever you want to call it to look. And right now I'm going in with a darker blue and I'm just filling it in, tracing what I already did with the pencil. And then I'm going to get a design brush and fill all of that in. Looking back at this, I'm trying to figure out if there may have been an easier way for me to get this done versus me you know tracing it and then going on the inside and filling it in because it took a while and the gel polish brush is too large for me to really get in there and uh, fill in the, a large space in a small amount of time so I had to get like a little bit bigger detail brush to get on the inside and not mess up what I had already done So this is the filling part that I was talking about and even though I did speed it up it does not look like it took a long time but in reality in real time it did um, I don't know if maybe there's an easier way I could have done this if any of you guys um, have done this or filled in something like this and you know a quicker way to get it done then please do share I would love to know The same thing that I did with my thought bubble, I did with the word that I'm putting on the inside. I decided to go with pow. You know, you can do bam, boom, splat, kablam, whatever you want to do. We all know how the comic books go. But I went ahead and I traced out the words that I wanted. Well, I wrote the words that I wanted. And I'm just going over it with my gel polish. Um, just making it a little bit thicker so it looks like bubble letters when it really was not. Um, I think that, well, I've been thinking about getting some acrylic paint. And I'm wondering if that would be easier when I do designs like this. Because, I mean, gel polish, I can work with it. But I, I don't know. I feel like acrylic paint would be better. I've kind of been holding off on getting some because I don't want to spend my money on it and it doesn't work as good or I don't like it but I'm thinking I'm really leaning towards trying it um, if any of you guys watching this have used acrylic paints to do some de de excuse me some designs with for your nails um, let me know how that works out for you
what I'm going to start doing now is going in again with the black gel polish and just thickening up a few lines to give it that shadow effect. That is how you make it look like your bubble is not flat on the nail. So just pick wherever you want to put them. I just chose a few little spikes that I wanted to thicken up and it came out perfect. Also, in case you did not know, because I did not clarify, I am curing these um, designs in between. Like, after I did the bubble, I cured it, then I did the outline and cured it, and then I did the words and cured it. Like, everything is being cured afterwards. Otherwise, it will all be running together, or I will accidentally stick my finger on it, or anything, and mess it up. So, just make sure as you go along, you cure here and there. Outlining these words were very tedious, like I had to take my time. I did not want to mess up at all. And I'm using the very, very tip of this brush. I wish that there was a smaller brush and I'm pretty sure there is. I'm gonna try to find me one because I really need a super, super thin brush. I actually plucked all of my, br my bristles out of a uh, detail brush that I had before till I had like two bristles left and that still didn't work because it's like the the polish would just make a, a little bubble right at the tip of it so I just gotta find me a really good brush y'all anyways I went in with my dotting tool I'm just adding some more of the lighter blue onto the dark blue and that's it for that nail so moving on to this nail it's going to be really simple just a solid yellow i am doing thin coats once again and this is my second time going over it after i cured it the first time i'm going to outline this nail in all black and it's to give it that uh, comic book effect is what i call it because it, it kind of looks like the pages of a comic book which is really really cute I don't know who came up with this design but it's it's very cute and I enjoyed making them also FYI you do not want to do your black outline too thin because you won't be able to see it really from the top of the nail and it's not really going to give that same illusion that is given so just make it a little bit thicker and you should be fine the next step is to get you some white gel polish and we're gonna go in and put like what I like to call a little glare um, as if light was reflecting off of the nail or something you want to do that and on this particular nail I am going to outline the white that I just did in black but for the other nails that you'll see later on, I won't be outlining it. But I really love this design, you guys. It's super cute. It's fun. And I will be putting these nails on, like gluing them on. This is a set that I'm going to be wearing for a little while. I think that this nail was probably the easiest one that um, I did today. So moving on to the middle finger, we're going to do a little drip. Now I've done uh, plenty of designs with drip on it. It's really simple. I'm using a, I think, I want to say this is Sunkissed gel. I'm not sure what color it is. I don't remember. <laughs> and I do apologize, but it is from, um, and D&D &D. also I'm trying to keep the same colors going on like I want different colors for different nails but I also want them to somewhat match so I'm using the same blue color that I use for the thumbnail I'm just going in with my dotting tool after I've outlined the cuticle area of the nail and I'm just putting a little 
dot and then I'm bringing it towards the cuticle area. I'm not going to really keep explaining it because it's kind of easier to watch than me explaining it kind of complicates it a little bit, I think. But yeah, I enjoyed doing this nail. It was really pretty. And you know, when you go in with a black liner to these designs that you're doing, it just brings it to life a little more. It makes it a little bit more professional in my opinion. It's so nice. These colors really do complement each other. And I think they are so cute together. And I really do have so many gel polishes, especially for my Beatles collection and my Model Ones collection that I really need to start using because right now they're just sitting there and I don't want them to go bad. I don't know if they go bad, but I don't want it to. And y'all, please don't sleep on those Amazon brand um, gel polishes because they are great. I mean, they have a variety of colors. Yeah, the bottles are smaller, but I mean, what do you expect? But you can get some good use out of it. And I'm not saying that the, the bigger brands aren't good because they are great as well, but let's be honest, they can get pricey really fast. So if you're just starting out and you want some really good quality gel polishes, Check out the Beatles and the Model Ones. I know Amazon has more brands up there of gel polishes as well, but I don't have any of those. So, so yeah. Now that I'm almost done with outlining the drip, I'm gonna go in with some white gel polish with my liner brush, and I'm just gonna put some small lines right at the tip of the drip, just like I did with the last nail to create that glare effect. It may be a little hard to see, but in person it is very visible. So I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see, but I don't want to get too close where the camera gets not focused. And last but not least for this design, I'm just getting my dotting tool and putting random dots all over the base of this nail just to give it a little extra, you know, something. And that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and brief y'all on this next nail, which is the ring finger because it did not turn out how I intended. Okay, see the goal was to have... The left side purple and then a pastel purple and then the right side a pastel pink and i was going to blend it you know and have a, a beautiful ombre going on and it was it started off great and then somehow along the way you just you can't tell that there's an ombre there anymore see right here you can see that there's an ombre but by the time I got done, you know, it, it just looks like a pink nail. But there was a goal there. <laughs> it just did not get executed properly. Okay, so as you can see, I went in with a pencil and I did sketch out some lips because I'm not just great at doing freehand um, work right now. Not at this point. So I just, you know, gave myself a little outline. I'm going in, filling in the lips, and then I'm going to outline in black and do all that other great stuff. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this, and I will be back in a little bit.
So I did some dots at the cuticle area of the nail and I also started to work on the lollipop off camera. I honestly thought that I had pressed record but apparently I didn't. But luckily I didn't get anything too major done before I realized that I was not recording. So I'm just outlining the lollipop and I'm going to go in with some blue gel polish and create some dots. I know a lot of people do like the swirls, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. And besides, I just want to do something a little bit different. Again, going in with some white gel polish just to create the stick for the lollipop. And that's pretty much it for that. Also, I did forget, I went in and added a little um, shine to the lips. I showed my mom these nails and the lips was definitely her favorite, which I'm not even surprised. <laughs> they did turn out really cute. Now moving on to the pinky nail, I am using my Beatles white gel polish. And the reason I'm not using my D&D &D white gel polish is because for some reason it takes forever to cure. Even if I use thin layers, it takes a long time. And then when I go to put like top coat over it, it it'll smear or it'll get on my brush. So I just went ahead and used my beetles because I know that'll cure pretty decent. Also, my black D&D gel polish does the same thing. It'll bubble up. It won't cure properly. It's, it's really pigmented. It's the only thing that I can think of because I've tried so many different ways to um, make it work. This pinky nail was really a spontaneous design. I had a vision for the other nails that I did, but the pinky nail was kind of like a blank slate. So I decided to do a lightning bolt um, using the yellow gel polish because I mean, why not? And then I'm just gonna go in and outline it in the black. And also, I'm going to go in after that and make some thicker black lines like I did with the with the bubble on the thumbnail just to look like it's not laying flat on the nail. Okay, now we're starting on the right hand nails. I'm going to do the same colors I did for the left hand, but they're just going to be plain solid colors. These are going to be my pages for my comic book on this hand. So I'm using the blue, the purple, the sun kiss, yellow, and white. It's been a while since I've had some extremely colorful nails and I'm really enjoying these, I'm not going to lie, because colors, they're just bright in my day, especially bright neon colors. I love it. I also, I have another video coming out um, this week, and it's going to be um, me showing you guys how I mix my acrylics and how I save a large amount of money. So if you want to see that video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post it. 
Also, give this video a thumbs up and I would really appreciate it. So just like I did for the yellow nail on the left hand, I'm going to do the same for these nails on the right hand. I'm going to outline all of them in black and then I'm going to go in with my white gel polish to give them a glare. And I'm going to let you guys watch this and I'll be back to show you the finished look. So this is how it turned out, you guys. They are so cute. I love them, I love them, and I love them. I'm gonna be wearing these for a while. Also, I forgot to tell you, I did off camera add some builder gel to them to make them harder, just a thin, thin layer. And I buffed and filed, and then I put my top coat. I could not decide if I wanted to do matte or if I wanted to let them be glossy, but I decided to have them look like a brand new comic book. So we went with Glossy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.